All right, friends, welcome back. So I asked you a question. I said, if there were four monkeys jumping on the bed, how many monkeys have already fallen off the bed and bumped their head? Your job was to represent this and solve it. One way you might have done this is by using your cubes or counters. You might have started with five. Why would I have started with five? Oh, that's right, because there were five monkeys. But then four monkeys were on the bed, and some of them fell off. We want to know how many fell off. So if there were five monkeys originally, and now there's only four on the bed, one, two, three, four, I have to get rid of this one. This is the one that fell off. So you might have said, if four monkeys are on the bed, one monkey fell off. These are my groups, four and one, and that makes five. Another way you might have shown this is by using your 10 frame. So we know we started with five monkeys on the bed, okay? But now some of them fell off and there were only four monkeys on the bed. So one, two, three, four are on the bed. That means this one has fallen off. The four red ones represent how many are on the bed. And my question was, how many monkeys have fallen off? One. This is my monkey that has fallen off the bed. Some of you might have even shown me using this. Do you remember this number bond? It shows us the whole group up here at the top, and then these are the parts. So what's our whole group? Yeah, it's our five monkeys, right? Let's see if I can get my monkeys to stick. Look at that. All right, so our group is five monkeys, okay? I'm even gonna write that. Here's our five monkeys, okay? Now, we know that we can break that into two groups, the group that's on the bed, and how many was that? That's right, four. One, two, three, four, so I'm moving that down. And then I need to know how many have already fallen off. So who's left? The one, right? One monkey has fallen off the bed and four monkeys are on the bed. That's one way you might have done it. Okay, let me show you one more way because some people did this too. They used a drawing, right? So we know we started with how many monkeys? You guys are smart. One, two, three, four, five, right? And we know that four of them are on the bed. One, two, three, four. So my question was, how many are off the bed? I'm going to draw a line to, to buy that up. Here are my monkeys that are on the bed. That's four. And here are my monkeys that are off the bed. That's one. So we could use all these different ways to represent and solve this problem. Now, if you go to the next video, I'm gonna show you a different problem about our monkeys, and I want you to solve it for me. Again, you can choose any of those ways we just talked about.